Hi, my name is Dr. David Campt, and I'm working for the Charlotte Humphrey Zone. I wanted to summarize a meeting we had on November 12th, 2016. It was held at the Charlotte Museum of History. The meeting was a mini summit about the, the black community in Charlotte and what might be done to improve some of the challenges facing it. We had about 70 participants. They were all black and they were very diverse in a number of ways, which I will talk about. Our goal of the meeting was to build on the prior work that the Charlotte Humphrey Zone had done. We've been working for about five months. We used a couple of techniques to get audience participation and feedback. One of them was audience polling devices, uh, and one of them was small group dialogue. We wanted to hear from everybody. We're still working on the results of the dialogue, but uh, this discussion is about the results from the polling. We had really good age diversity. 42% were under 35, so that's really good that we had good age diversity that we could talk across the generations. A lot of community meetings are disproportionately female. We love women, but we really were glad to have about 50-50 split of men and women. Uh, we had uh, not that many folks from the LGBT community. We can figure out why that was. Uh, and as you can see, a lot of people said they had no uh, claim on any sexual orientation. Maybe those were the kids we had. We had a lot of kids. That's a good thing. We had a lot of people under 18. Um, we had good geographic diversity. That was a fabulous thing, too. We were from all over Charlotte. We probably should have had a question about from outside Charlotte. Uh, but you can see that even uh, had we had that, we still would have had good diversity from all over Charlotte. One of the great things is that we had really good diversity with respect to education. 44% of folks had a college degree or a grad school degree. We're proud of that. We're also happy that a big portion, 56%, did not have those kind of degrees. So it wasn't all one group or another. Uh, about half the folks did not have kids in the home. And we have to think about, uh, is that reflective of the Charlotte community and what, how might our conversation have been affected by that? We had great income diversity, too. As you can see, a fair amount of folks made under $50,000 a year, talking to a fair amount who made over that. And so that's, a, again, that's the kind of diversity of conversation that we often don't have in these kind of community meetings. We had a lot of people who weren't working at all in our community. Big, big spread versus different economic sectors, but a fair amount of people a quarter who weren't working at all. One of the things we're most proud of is how many people came to our Humphrey Zone meetings for the first time. We wanted to expand the circle of collaboration, expand the wisdom we could get by growing more people, and we apparently did that. 80% of the folks had not been to a meeting before. Our goal of the meeting was to have a good mix between people who knew about program design and people who know about the problems in our community, and we had a good mix of that. So another thing we're very proud of. So we, wanted, we, we need people who can really help us understand the nature of the problems and people who are familiar with talking about how to construct solutions. One of the things I need to explain just briefly is the three pillars of work. We look at this project as trying to transcend the typical, is it the problem of the other man or is it the problem caused by the brother man? That kind of dichotomy we think is not as useful anymore. So we need to look at our problems facing the black community with respect to, we think it's helpful to look at it with respect to three different lenses. One is harms in our community that are caused by institutional behavior, either in the past or more recently. Another are community norms that are ways we treat each other and agreements we have, subtle or overt, about how we we'll act towards each other that might not be as useful to us as they were in the past or that they need to be. And the third is individual and family behavior, and we have to look at whether there are dysfunctions that we need to be more honest about and spend more time addressing. One of the great things about the meeting was we got new ideas about how to think about the harms. That's what happens when you bring more intelligence into a process. It refines it. And we still built on the strategies for dealing with harms that we already had developed, and we'll be getting more of those too. So we broke into groups based on initial ideas that fit into these kind of uh, pillars. And it was just so beautiful to see all these black people talking seriously, leaning forward, listening closely about a potential strategy for addressing these problems. And this is the kind of engagement that we want to have going forward. And we're going to build on what happened at this meeting. We're going to build towards a larger engagement, maybe in a few months, of, of even more people. Uh, but it, it is that work on particular strategies 
that can be offered forward to the larger community and we can make a choice about what we want to do. Thank you so much for your time listening to uh, this presentation and we look forward to seeing you at the next Charlotte Humphrey Zone meeting.